This is Real Sales Talk. Real sales advice from real sales practitioners. Giving you tips on how to dominate your sales quota are your co-host, Sean Mitchell and Phil Keen. We don't have a process for referrals at most companies. I go into a company, I say, what's your referral process? They have no, well, what do you mean? I think that, I think that goes back to the premise that why do salespeople suck at prospecting? I mean, number one reason why they suck at prospecting is they don't actually do it. If you are successful and nobody knows in, 2000, in 2016, 20, 2025, you're not successful. If you ever want to find out what's going on in the company, get in the car and spend a day with the top three salespeople. You'll find out in five minutes. Because you can't be a trusted advisor without two things, trust and advice. I mean, you need both of them. What's going on, everyone? It's Real Sales Talk, and it's Tech Talk 016. We are doing a double header. Well, sort of, kind of. We did, uh, Phil and I did a recording of Real Sales Talk earlier today, so uh, because we didn't get uh, Tech Talk out. Uh, when we normally do, we are fitting it in uh, today. So we're going to be talking about a couple of things, and I'm going to kick it over to you, Phil. Phil, how are things going for you this evening? Things are great. I'm, I'm glad we're able to squeeze this one in. You got to get the people what they want. You know, yes. you got you to get the real sales talk family uh, with the content that they need for their drive to work <laughs> or whatever they're however they're consuming our content. What, what would they do if they didn't have us to listen to, Phil? <laughs> Probably listen to like Gary V or something. I don't know. Something. Uh, he's just way overblown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, so, he's awesome. Yeah, he's amazing. So um, definitely, uh, definitely excited to get this one going. Uh, Trish Pertuzzi, I, I, I said she's one of my favorites um, sales development leaders or sales leaders there is. Um, I want to jump into from my my perspective. Uh, one of the books that if I would have read this three years ago and even today reading it, I've continued to learn. If I would have read this three years ago, it would accelerate it where I was in my career almost immediately. Um, let me go ahead. Let me, I'm going to do a screen share. I'm going to show you guys the book. So Trish Pertuzzi, she wrote a book. Um, let's see. We're in the application window. Let's see, share this one. You guys got Sean's face. Let's go back. So the sales development playbook. She wrote a book uh, about a year and a little over a year. So it was last January of 2016. Um, and just absolutely packed with knowledge. Uh, it has, if you go to this link, we'll, we'll actually link you guys up to it. There's a link that goes to where you can download free chapters and read this. Um, who she thinks should read it? Executives, new sales development leaders, sales development veterans. Uh, VC people that are trying to figure out how to put this stuff together. She organizes it really into six different parts, which is strategy. How do you framework it? How do you align the model to fit your business? Uh, specialization, uh, and it's it's really how companies are applying this 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 new tactic and, and using the SDR role with the specialization uh, and, and using it for outbound prospecting as well as uh, handling lead flow from marketing. Recruiting, uh, if you guys look, there's a there's a, somebody you might know that gets mentioned in the recruiting section. I won't name the name yet, uh, but pretty awesome. Uh, recruiting section is, is really, really helpful, really tactical, uh, talks through compensation, talks through how, how to hire retention, uh, which is important, almost just as important, if not more important than recruiting, uh, how to motivate your people, how to develop your people, Execution, so how, it's great to have a plan, but how do you actually execute against it? Uh, and then leadership, so lots of stuff there in terms of setting your quota, uh, measuring what matters, accelerating uh, technology. How do you how do you put it together? How do you be a leader? Just overall phenomenal book, lots of stuff in there. Uh, one of my favorite things came out of the recruiting section. Um, it was Mark Roberge, I believe, uh, who said, let me see. Uh, let me think through it. So he yeah, they, he talks through HubSpot a little bit how they recruited people, and it's really interesting. So they would actually take um, these these like marketing nights. They would create marketing nights, and they would actually allow people to come to these events inside of HubSpot, and they sent their team out kind of as little recruiters and and little hiring managers, and they would go out and have conversations. So I'd meet Sean and be like, "Wow, that Sean guy, there's something he has that thing. He's got that one." 
the gravitas about him that we want here at, at our company. Uh, and then what they would do is they would basically mark that name down and grab the business card and put it down as eight players that were in the community. And when they went to go recruit, now they have this list of like the top players that are that are in that community to come join their team. And I just thought it was crazy insightful, and 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 uh, it's actually part of part of why I, selfishly I think I started doing some networking internally instead of Indianapolis doing networking nights, setting stuff up. Um, and and I think it's it's great just to know that those types of people in your community. Um, so that was a really cool tactical tip. But the book is awesome, packed with knowledge. Um, we're gonna have her on. And we're going to take it kind of the step further that she kind of left out of the book, which is the account centric first account base, which is something kind of started to come into factor. People start talking about it post the already published book. Um, so she's going to be awesome and insightful and talking through that. So uh, be on the lookout. That's coming here in, in about two weeks. So sweet. Yeah. I started reading that and uh, I think it was just a different season in my life. And so I, I think I started reading another book, but I have it on my Kindle, uh, on my iPhone, and and uh, you talking about it, and then her being on the show, I think is going to push me to read it again, so or push me to 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 finish it. Yeah, it's 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 great, and I think there's a lot of uh, practicality. It, it's really good for anybody the real sales talk audience who's young in their entrepreneurial endeavor and never have done it. Um, it need to know how to get it started, how to think about it from an executive level. Uh, it's a great book for, I'm an SDR leader, but I don't really feel my executive team's bought in all the way, uh, to be able to give it to their executive team to, so they can understand the process and why it's, how it's built, what's the framework look like. Um, and really just from a pure knowledge, be a learner, go grow it. Like it, it, it's, it's awesome. So there's lots of tactics, lots of things, lots of, it gets pretty deep in the weeds, which is great. Is there an audio book? Is there an audio version of this? Uh, it, I was actually just looking at Amazon before this. So let's figure out what we're going to link up to. Yeah, uh, it is. There is an audible. Uh, it's awesome. If you have, there's free trials out there for audible. If you're an Amazon prime customer, uh, you can get the free Amazon prime audible book. Yeah. That's a good point, actually. I, I am Amazon Prime, and they always send me emails about you know free audiobook, but I I never pay attention. Um, cool, that's awesome. I think I think I may have to, even though I've bought the the actual Kindle book, I may have to get the audio. That's just kind of the season season of life I'm in. Cool. Um, so so what am I going to talk about? What tool am I going to talk about? Uh, I've got an interesting one. Uh, centered around travel, I'm I'm thinking about. So I went through a few different apps. Um, I'm familiar with one that's actually here in uh, the the Denver area, and actually in Boulder, called Pana. Uh, I I almost decided to talk about this one. Definitely one that you should you should take a look at if you're a sales rep who's traveling quite a bit. It's a concierge service, but it's centered around an app and really easy to use. I've talked with the CEO, and I think his name is Devin. Um, but uh, I decided to, to select a different one because I really was looking for something that involved one of the topics that I talked about at the beginning of the year, which is artificial intelligence. I wanted to, to tr try and find a a travelist, quote unquote, travel assistant that was artificial intelligence, and I couldn't really find anything that was like what I imagined. But this is one that I think is interesting, and I don't know if I would use it myself. Maybe as it develops, I, I might, I might consider it. But the application is called Insta Locate, and for those that are watching the video version of this, I'll share my screen here. And so you can see their website. Let's go, here it is. Okay, so Instalocate is an AI-powered personal assistant to provide you worry-free travel experience, this is what they say. Um, so the interesting thing about this particular one is it's only a Facebook Messenger bot. And what it does is it tracks your journey. It it uh, uh, gets you the uh, best deals. It 
gets you compensation for lost luggage. And, um, and so I, I signed up for this on Sunday and I've been getting these updates via Facebook Messenger. And it's been, and, and it allows me to do like a little test flight and it, and it keeps me up to date with where that flight is at, when it's landed, when it's, when it's going to land. But as I mentioned before, you can also, you, you can also have it help you get compensation for, you know, uh, a delayed flight or lost luggage. So this is an interesting one here. And, um, you know, Facebook has been building out this this whole instant messenger bot thing, which I think is really interesting. Um, and it says on their website that they're actually building uh, an app for Alexa and Google Home. So it seems like they are trying to do a portion of, you know, this uh, digital assistant, artificial intelligence type uh, thing. But I think it's interesting. I think it might be worth taking a look at if you travel just to see if it, if it would be helpful. And I'm not sure if, if it's a fully developed product yet. I think I find myself wanting a little bit more, like I want it to be a little bit more intuitive. One of the questions that I have about the app is how and when does it know uh, uh, your, your flight? Like, is it reading your email? Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't figure that out. And if it's just on Facebook, how does it know what flights I have. What I wanted to do is I wanted to be smart enough to read my email for the travel confirmation and add that to my calendar, of course, and then also do the thing that it, it does naturally, which is keep me up to date with the flight, let me know when there's delays, um, be proactive about letting me know if there's been changes in the flight and things like that. So that's my, that's my, uh, my tool, Tech Talk tool, it's Insta, like Instagram, instalocate.com if you want to check it out. Uh, once you go to the website, it'll prompt you to start a, in fact, maybe I can do this here. I think it'll actually open up Facebook Messenger. Well, you're trying to set that up. It's interesting they're going to go towards Alexa and Google Home. Right. Um, because I'm trying to think where I might need it or want it, I wouldn't have Alexa next to me all the time. Yeah, it'd be more yeah. phone, right? It'd be more phone fo focused. Uh, yeah. So it's interesting they're going to go there. And there is an Alexa app. I just, I've never got push notifications from the Alexa app on my phone. So that's, mm -hmm. I, I think it's it's great for, hey, can you tell me if my flight's going to be on time this morning? Or, um, hey, can you check the security line? That kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, because yeah, it says here, right. real-time tracking, security, wait time, um, share information with your friends, gate and terminal info, weather, airport directions, web check-in booking cabs at the airport. So it's interesting that they say cabs and not like Uber or Lyft. Yeah, but it's probably because a lot of airports are, there's some airports that are iffy on, on ride yeah. share stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so that's an interesting one. Like I said, I'm not sure if I would use it myself. I don't know if it's as comprehensive enough as, as, as I expect or want an artificial intelligence software for travel to be. And maybe there's something out there that I haven't found. And if, and if uh, our audience is using something that you really like, let us know. And uh, I'm happy to take a look at it and maybe even review it on Tech Talk. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. Uh, the, it looks young, and I think it's like anything else AI. I think it just takes time to, to figure out what their, what their product fit is and, and go from there. Totally. Yep. Awesome. Well, um, we've got, uh, by the time you listen to this, you probably will see at least one new Rail Sales Talk episode. Um, we've got a couple here that we will release this week. I think one that we just recorded today between uh, Phil and I. And then we also have a recording of Ralph Barcy, which uh, we'll, we'll release this week as well, probably uh, in a couple of days, a, a day or two's time from, from this release. So look forward to that. Look forward to some of our new uh, episodes coming out where we um, uh, interview some really, really thoughtful and um, pioneering uh, leaders in sales and, and marketing. So any other thoughts? Any closing thoughts on, on your side, Phil, before we wrap up? I would tell you the three episodes that we have coming up. Um, just, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like the interviews have been really fun. Content's been super relevant. Um, 
Amy's was great. Ralph's was phenomenal. Like it, it, we've had some really, really good insight. Uh, so I just want to give everybody, we love some feedback. So give us some feedback, leave some reviews in iTunes. Let us know who you, if you have a recommendation for somebody you'd love to see, put it in your comments. Um, five stars if you can, let's bump us up a little bit. More real sales talk family. Uh, that way we can uh, start growing this community a little bit with you guys. Awesome. I agree. All right, everyone. So thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next episode of Real Sales Talk.